Rudy and I are driving up to the Rammstein Air Base here in Germany, an American military Air Force base, I believe, um, because we've joined the military and we're gonna go fly airplanes. Just kidding, uh, we're visiting our old uh, Unicorns teammate, A.B. Anthony Blau, he's in the Air Force and he's stationed at Rammstein, so we're gonna go up there and get a little slice of America today. Here we go. So, Rudy and I ventured northwest towards Rammstein. As you can see, the further north in Germany you drive, the uglier and grayer it gets. That is a joke. Try not to freak out. We have made it to, what's this place? Kaiserschlauts? Kaiserschlauten. Kaiserschlauten. Rude you drove. I'm gonna go see Blau now. After the two hour drive, we arrived and caught up with AB. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, dude? Good to see you, bro. I play with his cats. Good kitty. We reminisced about you the glory blow? days with the unicorns and living at the Ami house. i <laughs> <laughs> drink this juice and my heart is literally racing. I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. That's so disgusting. <laughs> and then before going on the base, he showed us around the town of Kaiser Slaughter. Americans, what is it? Uh, KMC, Kaiser Slaughter Military Community. Largest community of Americans outside of North America. 66,000 Americans. Here we go. Too many. Too many Americans. Pack, no seats available. Um, start from 6 o'clock on the early side and just be fun. It's a good vibe. Um, Especially compared to like America, where you always gotta like look over your shoulder. Yeah. And everybody's friendly and all that stuff. It's not aggressive. So, yeah, it's not aggressive at all. Oh. And it just shows you how like Germans and Americans can get along, especially like you start knocking back a few yeah. whiskeys and you know how it is. Nice. Yeah, man, it's, it's lovely. AB told us all the fantastic American fast food options that are available on the base. I started to get really excited. So we said, Charlie's. Burgers, Popeyes, Dairy Queens, the Baskin Robbins. So, AB just told us all of the fast food options, of American fast food options that are on the base. Rudy and I are in a big dilemma because there's a lot of things that we want. So, we finished her up around the town and we drove to Ramstein Air Base. So, there's a difference between Ramstein uh, Air Base and it being called Ramstein Air Force Base. Being an air base, we are the guest to our host nation, which is Germany. So all of the buildings and property on Ramstein Air Base is property of the German government. So we have to abide by their laws, do basically what they say because we are the guest here. Yeah. As opposed to like some other like Air Force bases. Exactly. Bases so because we have ter like obviously outside of the continent of the United States, we have territories. Those are considered Air Force bases. Yeah. Um, but if we have a any type of bases in a host nation. It's not an Air Force base, it's an air base. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so we're going to Ramstein Air Base. Ramstein Air Base, yeah. I cannot tell you how excited I was to get on this base. We arrived at the base, and that's when I was betrayed by the United States of America. Turns out, um, I'm not American. I have been rejected from uh, being allowed on the base um, because uh, I don't really know why, what, happened. what happened. AB, tell him. So basically, since he has a dual citizenship, two passports, he didn't have the, um, what was it? Oh, the resident? residency card. Mm -hmm. um, and he didn't bring his Italian passport, so he's not allowed to come on base. So. But. <laughs> Rudy, Rudy is. <laughs> Rudy brought his residence. Rudy permit. brought his residency card and a passport. Ah! Swiping. I've never felt so betrayed by my home nation in my life. So what I will say, it's gonna get worse because when Rudy goes and he has this experience and he has to tell you about it. Don't tell me. Nuki is great. God, you better not tell me anything. Turns out me and America are not on good terms right now. Well, I mean, we need to talk. So the guys dropped me off in a little town where almost everything was closed, and they went on the base without me. They've just dropped me off, and they're abandoning me here in this town. Well, they go on base, and I wander around.
Uh, can you guys give me a ride to the Ramsun Air Base? Uh, yeah, do you have your passport on? Yeah, Actually, I was going to ask, is my passport in here? Because I can't find it. <laughs> How was what? <laughs> How was your time in Ramstein, Germany? This is the, the worst town in Germany. There's nothing here. How was the uh, base? Yeah. What was your... I'm sorry, right, man. You know, pretty big. A lot of things in there. When she said, do you have your resident card? Oh, your oh. face said it all. I, I knew trouble was, was... I wish I was recording that conversation. <laughs> this is the aftermath. This is essentially the corpse of the fun time that they had on base. I'm sorry, I thought I was American. <laughs> I'm the same as you. Sure, do you have a copy of the Declaration of Independence <laughs> to come on the base? What the hell? The title of this video is going to be I have been betrayed by the United States of America. <laughs> so I, I promise you I have to make that the title. <laughs> All right, B, thanks for uh, getting me on the, uh, thanks for the, uh, you know, you driving on our camera. Well. Romstein and uh, having fun on the base. We really appreciate it, bro. All right, <laughs> brother. <laughs> I definitely got to make a I have trip fun. out here. No, I'm we'll come back and I'll bring uh, all my paperwork. <laughs> 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 yeah, just, uh, just so for anyone who doesn't understand, this this is the title of this video is a joke. I don't actually think that the United States betrayed me. Uh, this was completely my fault. But for anyone who doesn't really understand, what happened was we drove up two hours to the base. Uh, we had our passports and Rudy had his residence permit. But I don't have a residence permit anymore. I don't need one because I'm an EU citizen. But I have my Italian passport. Well, I didn't bring my Italian passport because I didn't think going onto an American military base, I would need my Italian passport to prove that I'm a, I don't know. So I didn't bring it. I didn't even think to bring it. So uh, that's what happened. Got there, showed her my passport. She said, okay, great. Now can I see your residence permit? And I said, oh, I don't have that. I'm an EU citizen though. She says, okay, can I see your EU passport? And then I um, damn near crumbled and fell to the ground. So that's what happened. I learned my lesson. Luckily, the guys brought me some Reese's peanut butter cups from the base. Uh, but yeah, that is the story of how the United States of America betrayed me. Bro. I don't want to hear it. Ha <laughs> ha!